Building a railway in the desert is far tougher than you'd imagine. With every gust of wind, sand threatens to bury the tracks. The first challenge is sand control. Engineers bend wheat straw and stick it into the ground, creating small checkerboard grids. Don't underestimate this trick. It cuts wind speed by up to 40%, making sand settle faster. Then, tall windbreak nets are set up in rows. Combined with the straw grids, they form a massive three-dimensional sand barrier stretching for hundreds of meters. After three to four years, once the sand stabilizes, hardy plants like saxol and desert willow are planted, a green shelter belt is born, and the railway foundation can finally be laid in the middle. But in areas with shifting dunes, even this isn't enough. So engineers flipped the idea. If the sand can't be stopped, let it flow beneath. In the heart of the desert, they built modular bridges, letting sand pass under. Since the desert's extreme temperatures easily crack concrete, bridge piers and box girders are prefabricated in factories and then transported to the site, pieced together like giant Lego blocks. And that's how a super railway, cutting straight through the desert, comes to life.